The woman had heard about the Olympic game farm, but visiting in person was another experience entirely. It only got better when she saw one of its famous bears up close and personal. She was so close she even gave it a wave. What happened next left her astonished. The nature farm in question is Sequim's Olympic Game Farm in the state of Washington. Despite its name, the attraction actually has a lot in common with nature parks. The farm appeals to animal lovers since it offers them the opportunity to get close to its wild residents. Back in the 1950s, the farm was called Disney's Wild Animal Ranch, and it was in the employ of Walt Disney Studios. It was nowhere near as well known to the public. The grounds were used as both a film set and a place to keep the animal actors between filming. As such, the only cameras allowed on the farm were Disney film cameras. During this time, OGF's animals became celebrities. They starred in movies and TV series until 1972, when Roy Disney, the studio's co-founder and Walt's brother, passed away, OGF opened its doors to the animal-loving public. When OGF first allowed the public access, it was with the intention of testing the farm's earning potential. Disney Studios concluded that the farm could support itself financially. As a result, the animals could stay there. Thus, the farm eventually became the Disney Incorporated OGF of today. Guests at the farm can see animals they're unable to safely approach in the wild, like zebras and bison. Visitors get a great view of the wildlife during the farm's driving or walking tours, but that's not all. They can also feed the fauna with wheat bread provided by the OGF. In fact, the farm has received worldwide acclaim for one of its species in particular, the Kodiak bears. They've gained a name for themselves over the years as friendly and welcoming. Bears don't usually have the most amiable reputation, though. To begin with, people often think of them as being unsociable and lone creatures, even among their own species. It's an assumption that probably arose from the infrequency with which bears interact in the wild. But there's another reason for this. It's actually because a bear's habitat is so expansive they don't usually encounter each other. When they do, it's sometimes as potential competitors for mates or food. On the other hand, when these factors are removed, they're often friendly towards each other. Not only do bear families live close together, peacefully when resources are abundant, but they're quite companionable. Bears can and will enjoy each other's company for extended periods. They even play together in the form of roughhousing. Because bear play fights look more aggressive than they really are, people mistake their interactions for conflict. That same can be said of their dominant displays too, which occurs when two males sharing the same habitat meet. Generally, such face-offs are purely bluster and intimidation. Although bears have wrongly acquired an antisocial reputation, no one can deny the friendliness of OGF's bears. For example, one guest uploaded video footage on June 28, 2010, showing just how welcoming the animals can be. It all starts with a female visitor to the farm. On her tour through OGF, the unidentified woman passes through the bear habitat, where she spots a Kodiak bear. The large bear sits on his hind legs, watching the woman's car as it passes. She's highly entertained by her observer. With this in mind, she decides to greet her new friend with a wave. Much to the amazement, the bear leans back and waves his paw in answer. The amazed woman can't believe what she's seeing and bursts out laughing. Since its first recording, the video has amused people across the world just as much as it did her. In fact, the video has been given a like by 88,000 of the 18,686,000 people who viewed it. The internet fell in love with the polite bear. Some people saw the adorable Kodiak as something akin to a sweet teddy bear. Hugging this bear would almost be worth the mauling, one person wrote. Another commented, the way he waves could be an animation right out of a Pixar movie. The wave wasn't a one-time thing either. It's the reason why OGF's bears are so famous. The farm's official website reveals the real reason why the bear was so polite. They've learned to wave so visitors give them bread. OGF's president, Robert Beebe, spoke to the website Motherboard about the bears on April 14, 2017. It's something they've always done, Beebe revealed. The original bears were hand-raised here in-house with my grandparents, so they were really used to people. Beebe revealed that the bears actually learned the trick themselves. They had some other training off and on, but waving was not part of that training, he said. The bears would do something funny or cute, and the tourists would get excited and throw bread. It only took a little while for the bears to put two and two together, Beebe continued. 
Bears are pretty smart and they can figure things out pretty quickly the result has made them famous and they never have to work too hard for their bread treats Check out these other videos from let me know if you haven't made the move to subscribe to our channel All you need to do is click on that red subscribe button. Thank you for watching